As you've heard from others, um, this has been an amazing journey. Um, it has been a stretching time, um, a challenging time, and yet, um, by contrast, it's also been a time where um, we've learned to love each other, uh, to lean on God, um, to see God working to protect us against an enemy. And we've had so much laughter. Um, we've laughed at ourselves, and we've laughed at each other, and um, we've celebrated birthdays. We helped Dan and Carrie birth a baby, baby Cora. Um, we've um, gone the emotional gamut. Uh, Gina cries at the drop of a hat, so we've always had to have tissues available. Um, Tina has helped us with the stress. Um, she has provided chocolate pies several times. And, um, and then we have learned a new generation vocabulary with uh, Kevin's jacked up um, vocabulary and of all things in a prayer. Uh, so you can see um, why I have uh, become so excited about um, this new beginning in our church. Um, at the very first, though, I was pretty clueless about uh, what our task was. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of laid out for us and um, um, found out that uh, we were setting a lot of our own agendas um, and of course, I thought it was going to be a burning bush experience. Um, and I just knew that God had someone out there, out there, not here, uh, that was going to come and uh, be the perfect family for our church. Through the books with, that we read that you've heard about in the prayer time, tremendous prayer time, the Bible studies that Dave and Bill led, um, I began to see that the Lord was showing us a, that we needed a compassionate shepherding man for LABC. Um, someone that was going to take us through those exciting changes that we so desperately needed during this time. During the next few months, there was a marathon of questionnaires, podcasts, um, searching the different church webcasts uh, all over the country. And it was during this time that I gave up on the burning bush and the stroke of lightning that was going to strike me with a name. And I began to see that God was speaking to me in a very still, small voice. And he was speaking to me through the very events that were in my own life. Um, that summer, um, Rod, my husband, was going on a mission trip to China, and um, Eric was the leader of Rod's group. And um, I personally saw how Eric invested in other people's lives. Um, he invested in our life. And he wanted to nurture and to grow people to experience their part in the kingdom of God. Um, at the same time, about that same time, I took a position on the missions team. And during that time, I heard Eric share about uh, his love for missions, uh, for his love for the lost, um, people that he didn't even know, people in different countries, people right here in our community, and people here in Arlington, Texas. Another trait that I uh, saw and impressed was Eric's visibility. Um, he was always where the people were. Um, every Sunday morning, he showed up in our Sunday school class. 
And it wasn't just because we had donuts or snacks. I know some of those times he was there because of us. Um, he gave us eye contact. That really impressed me. He chatted with us. Um, he gave us hugs when it was appropriate. And he sincerely showed us that he cared for us. And so during that time, I understood that God was whispering to me and showing me that Eric loved people and he loved building up people. As we narrowed the field of candidates, it was, I still wasn't real sure about where I stood, uh, who I stood for and all those candidates. Um, I was still waiting for God to show us exactly who he wanted. And when we began the interview process, um, there was no bolt of lightning, there was no burning bush, but um, when we heard Eric and Laura share their hearts, it was definitely a wow time that night. I knew that um, from what he told us, that he had a plan already for LABC. And unlike the other candidates, he had walked the road with us through the tough times. He knew our warts, he knew our moles, and he loved us in spite of us, of all of that. And he was excited about the challenge of the tough times. He was always already working on a plan of accountability um, he had gleaned much from um, his former mentors, um, from accountability partners, and from our former pastor. He was very transparent during the interview. Um, he shared with us places where he needed to grow and change. And I saw humility in Eric. I saw both from him and Laura the ability to persevere in very tough, tremendous times of adversity. And on that night, um, as we closed that interview and I came away, um, I knew that Eric was not a perfect man. He had flaws, um, but I felt this abiding peace that Eric Herstrom was God's perfect man to shepherd LABC into the next era.